Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and how is everyone doing? It is Saturday. Let's see if I get the date right. Have my magnetic calendar. I don't remember if I, I think it's the 16th. I try to always change the date. I keep this in my craft room. It's one of my best friends because I forget the date often. But having this like in view every day, it helps me remember what day it is. So it is June the 16th, oh, not a Wednesday. <laughs> it's um, Saturday. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, four or five o'clock. I just woke up from a nap. So this morning I went to the market. On the way back, I decided to look for some thrift stores on the way home in my neck of the woods. I followed different flyers that I saw on different corners and ended up checking out a couple of thrift stores. Not thrift stores, though I did go to a couple this morning. I meant to say yard sales. So welcome to another weekend yard sale find and some chit chat. I did film this video outside this morning twice. Very similar to my last weekend yard sale video. But when I went to play it back, the volume just wasn't there. So I deleted those videos, took a nap, and filming it inside my little crafty space. Okay, so this first yard sale I went to, the lady was just so nice. I'm going to call her seller. I was wondering, what do you call the person that conducts the yard sale? I'll just call that person the seller. She was super duper sweet. Just a sweet woman. And um, the first thing I gravitated towards, I realized as I filmed this morning that I don't have that bag. Either I forgot to purchase those items or I left that bag there. I do have her address. So if I didn't purchase those items, I will go back and get them because she had these bags, maybe four or five packs in one package of rope and different weights. And she had a weight of rope that was similar to twine, except it was softer than twine. So she had different packages and different weights, but she also had these kits of tie-dye. I think it was called tie-dye. And that's what I wanted, and it was priced really cheap. I wanted to pick up a couple of those kits and dye some fabric at home. So I had a couple of those kits, and then I had one package of that, of the thin rope. And the package of rope was only a dollar, and a package of dye was a dollar and it wasn't like a package like a small package with powder in it it was a nice size kit that had four individual long thingies in it so one kit had four different colors in it I really do want that so I gravitated towards that and of course I didn't have a bag or a basket it's a yard sale so I had to transport things with me and then, as I was looking at that, I saw just two, like, buckets filled with random shirts and things like that. I was not into the clothes. But as more customers flooded in, I decided to run over to those bins and just pull some things out. Because at yard sales, you know you have to rummage through things. You have to sift and sort. You never know what's in those containers. It can be a lot of miscellaneous things. Well, I pulled out a plastic, like, shoebox thingy, though it was larger than a shoebox container. And it was filled with, <laughs> filled with gloves, right? Now, I took out the whole container. It had a price on it for $3. But I asked her, I said, is this the correct price? Why did I do that? Why? When you are bargain shopping, you have to, you have to know how to talk. <laughs> 
because once you ask a question that sparks interest in the seller's mind and if they want they could you know they feel your energy they could change the price so once I asked her if that was the correct price she began to look through the container and then she stated oh, well I don't think I really wanted to sell all this together and she began to take out a lot of the gloves right so I let her do it because I didn't want to show that I was really interested so I kind of walked away and I said just you know take your time and then I came back she had taken out all of the white gloves now if you're wondering what will I do with these gloves when I saw these gloves they reminded me of my grandma and the mothers of the church on the first Sunday of every month which was communion Sunday well the mothers of the church they were decked in white from their head to their feet the white big hat the white ensemble outfit white stockings white shoes and of course white gloves so when I first saw the gloves that's what I thought of and then I thought of the praise dancers sometimes they wear gloves and so um, she came back and I told her I really wanted a white pair of gloves and check out these by the way she said these gloves were vintage I don't know how to date things but I believe her she seemed to be trustworthy when I saw the white gloves <laughs> you know who I thought of and by the way after I told her I wanted a pair of white gloves she let me pick out a pair that she had taken from the container thought of the great late Michael Jackson right we know that famous white glove <laughs> of course his was all bedazzled and blinged out but this is so nice it has beads on it I got each pair of gloves for only 50 cents I thought that was a deal right I don't know if I will ever have a need to wear these but I love the colors this pair is really long and then I had to pick up the white pair with the brown trim on it just really really lovely and once again she said that these gloves there was a pair that she didn't think was vintage but I know several pair of these are vintage and I believe her because I don't recall what type of artist she said she was but she does a lot of work for a local museum um so we became like <laughs> kind of like friends there we were talking she was talking a lot about what she do and um, just different stuff so she brought over some things to me she brought over this little purse a little clutch she said it was vintage I think she said her mom gave it to her but don't hold me to that because I don't really remember but I paid two dollars for this and I do have some clutches out in the garage I got from my grandma's house but I thought this was just darling she had a couple others too now she had this sewing box that I didn't pick up but I told her I wanted the buttons so she gave me the buttons and I did waste some buttons on outside so there could be some in the grass but she gave me these buttons and it was more like I said more than this for a dollar and she also sold me a vintage flamingo pin which was in this clutch it fell out I have I had him bring everything in and he wasted the clutch but I had to go outside and hunt for my flamingo pin check it out yeah this is darling she said name your price and a dollar came to mind so I got this beautiful flamingo pin for a dollar I'm gonna see if I can mold that and from that sewing box I picked out these three colors of spool and these are vintage spools and she just gave these to me for free now if you saw my thumbnail picture you saw a um, what do you call it a dress form 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to have individual pictures of that dress form because after I paid for my order, well, you know, let me finish sharing the other things I got from her because she continued to bring me things. She said that she thought we had similar taste based on the things I was looking at, like these gloves, and I wanted this clutch. So she began to bring me some things, and one thing that she brought me was this skirt. Now, I don't really buy clothes anymore. I have a lot of clothes, and I've gotten rid of a lot of clothes, and have a whole lot more I need to get rid of. So the only time I will shop, for the most part, is when I'm at Costco, and they have those different vendors that come in. I love leggings, and so when the legging vendor come in, I'll buy leggings, or I'll buy the maxi dresses. Easy wear. Love my maxi dress. I had on one today, and I kid you not, I got like three or four compliments <laughs> from different people concerning that maxi dress. It's just easy breezy wear. Put on one piece, one maxi dress, and I'm out the door. I'm good to go. But she brought this to me. Now, I would not have ordinarily, if I saw this in a store, I would not have picked this up. But she kind of put this up to her waist, and she stated she wore it once. And when she brought it to me, I knew instantly I was going to pick up this skirt. You guys, look at it. Look at those beautiful colors, right? And then these beautiful peacocks. But the colors are just so bright. And the skirt has a vintage flair to it. I forgot where she says she picked this up, but it was not from a department store. It was from one of those specialty boutiques out of town somewhere. So I can see myself wearing this. Totally love that. I don't know what type of shirt I'll wear with it, but... This might be one of my favorite skirts of all time. And you know what? I have not even tried it on yet. <laughs> and then she brought me this kimono type robe. What attracted me to this was the pattern. I don't know if I'm going to wear this. My first thought was to cut it up. So the kimono cost $5 and this skirt was only $3. And if any of you guys happen to have this skirt, <laughs> let me know. Okay, in one of those bins that I went to go sift through, at the bottom of the bin, I found this beautiful vest. I'm not sure if you could see the color, but this is like a rose gold color. It is beautiful. She told me this was vintage. Look at all of this beautiful lace, you guys. I paid, it was three or five dollars for this. My first inclination was to cut this up, but I don't know if I can do that. This is just too pretty. Gorgeous. I love it. Yes, yes, and yes. And in that container that had the gloves, I pulled out several of these hanker chiefs and I think I got all of these for two dollars or a dollar so I thought that was cool so all of this with the mannequin is what I got from the first yard sale and the seller assisted me to the car. She actually carried the mannequin to the car and gave me a hug. You know, she says, I just feel the need to hug you. And I felt the need to hug her as well. Just a lovely, a lovely spirited person, right? That's the best way I can describe Okay, so I hit up about three yard sales this morning, but the other two really didn't yield anything. So I was done with my yard sales. I came home decided to head to my favorite thrift store. On the way there, lo and behold, I see a yard sale sign. So I had to make a swift U-turn and go to this yard sale. And I'm so happy. <laughs> now, um, this, <laughs> this lady was really funny. Number one, it was a nice size yard sale on a large front yard 
property. The yard sale was in the front yard. And just a very nice a lady. She um, told me that she, everything was like super cheap. It had been discounted from yesterday. I think her sale started yesterday. I got there about 10 o'clock. She said it was her liquidated sale. So everything was going to be cheap. Well, let me show you some things that I got. I got some cool stuff. Number one, I found a whole set of these stitch by stitch books. I first came across these books several months ago at a local thrift store. I didn't pick them up and I went back and they were gone. But I found a set of 20 of these, you guys. Look at the pictures on the front. Each book was only a quarter. Can you believe that? These books are from the... Today I just got a new, a new magnifier in the mail from Amazon. Oh, I like it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. But I don't see the date. Where is the date? Probably from the, oh, 1984. I was going to say 70s. But it's a 1984 edition. People, this is like brand new. These books look good. So good. Oh, look at the images. Oh! cannot beat a quarter of piece. I am back into making journals and books and so these books will definitely be used for that purpose. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so I got some stuff together and it came out to nine dollars and I went to go pay for it and realized I only had four because I have forgotten I used the five dollars to buy that that dress form because at the first thrift store I keep saying thrift store at the first yard sale I placed my order yeah I forgot to mention this I placed my order and I turned around and saw this dress form now I had seen the dress form earlier and didn't pay any attention to it so when I turned around to look at it the seller began to talk about the dress form and I asked her what the price was and she said five dollars and I knew instantly that I wanted that dress form because she had told me the dress form was antique from like the 1880s and I thought to myself you are selling this dress form for five dollars she went on to tell me what she used the dress form for because she had two dress forms. They were both completely different. And like I said, she was an artist or she is an artist. And um, her models would actually wear those gloves that I purchased. But she also would use those dress forms and whatever type of art that she did. So she was talking and telling me what she did with the dress form and actually she pulled out her phone because she wanted to show me some pictures but once she told me that dress form was five dollars the only thing I wanted to do was get that thing to my car before she changed her mind <laughs> I have been hunting for a vintage dress form I do come across different ones from the antique store but they're in the hundreds of dollars. This one I got for five dollars, you guys. You know what? It's in my bathroom right now, my downstairs bathroom, because I plan on using it as home decor. The bathroom happens to be, at least the one downstairs, is my husband's favorite room in the house. He's not going to like it downstairs in the bathroom. But I think it's cute in there. If I remember, I will probably film in the bathroom or once again show pictures. Now where did I leave off? Oh, well I paid for my order at the first yard sale. You guys remember this is chit chat so I'm chit and chatting right 
and I I had placed the second order with the five dollars so at the second yard sale I couldn't find the five dollars until I remembered I bought the mannequin or the dress form with it so I told the nice little old lady I am going to run to the bank please hold my things I was willing to give her a check and leave the things there in good faith and she said no I'll just hold it for you so while I was out I ran into Goodwill and then I ran to my favorite thrift store then ran to the bank and the whole time I'm rushing I'm scared that she sold my stuff <laughs> so I had to hurry up and rush back and when I went back I saw other things that I wanted from her yard sale I inquired about these vintage spice containers she gave me the whole box for a dollar yeah right I think it's so cool to have whole the whole mustard seed container I looked at a couple of these and I saw some from the 80s I think this is cool I plan on decorating and using some of these containers for my Shake Shake. So what is Crown Colony? Oh, this is leaf, um, I can't say it no more. I use it all the time. Oregano. <laughs> this is the real stuff. Now I know it's old. I might make some shakers with this. <laughs> some vintage shakers. Dill seed. But just different containers I like that and the whole thing for a dollar I'm sure I'll donate some of these back to a thrift store and then at her little sale I picked up this it says heart to heart now what attracted me was the year 1988 you guys have heard me say when I find things that coordinate with a special year I had a child born this year I like to pick it up and you know what it's faith-based it's scriptures <laughs> how fun this would be to go to my son's birthday and pick out the scripture that coordinates with his birthday oh I love that I got that okay for and then I also picked up this board game do you guys remember the show who wants to be a millionaire <laughs> I got this for 50 cents oh my goodness I think I saw a date okay you guys excuse my dog the year of 2000 I remember who wants to be a millionaire and look at the million well this is more no these are in the thousands look at the money I'm looking for a vintage, and I've come across these board games. I just didn't pick them up, but I want Life, Payday, Monopoly. I want the vintage board games that have the money. I did pick up one of those already. I just don't know which one. So this was a great deal. It's a complete set. So super cool for 50 cents. And then... I when I went back to pick up my order I saw these rolls and really don't know and she didn't know nor her children knew what these were for except her daughter stated perhaps liners for the shelf but I got all of this for a quarter if you guys know what this stuff is it don't have any sticky on it so I'm not sure what it was used for, but I got four of those and then this do have sticky on it. This is vinyl and there's a pattern, if you can see it. Yeah, there's a pattern. So I got all of that and then I thought this was cool. My son, he ripped this up. I said, how no. can something vintage survived all these years and end up in your hands and now you know it's ripped and tattered Kappa, stop it you guys my dogs are in here and you just heard the chihuahua 
Oink, my biggest dog, is he just sitting next to the Chihuahua. And the Chihuahua, whose name is Kappa, he don't he don't like that. But this is vintage cellophane, and it has the directions on how to use this. I recently found a vintage wallpaper kit that still had the paper in it. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted this. I'm going to do a page with this. But I got all of this for, did I say a quarter? It was a quarter or 50 cents. But it was no more than that. Hmm. Say hi. Hello. Okay, so my son, the destroyer oh. of anything vintage, mm. wanted to say hi. Okay, so when I went back to get my order, you guys, my eyes went towards something else that I hadn't seen. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> I know you can't see what it is. No, you don't know what it is. I didn't know what it is. She got two of these. And I thought, what is it? Well, you guys won't. You can't guess what it is, right? Unless you've used one of these before. Yeah, it's it's definitely vintage. It's rusted. Well, the seller began to tell me a story of how her mother made her own root beer. <laughs> Using this thingy which happens to be what is used when you put the bottle caps on the soda bottles as soon as she said bottle cap i knew i was getting this because i love bottle caps <laughs> i love it i'm thinking about spray painting this this will be craft room decor I'll turn it this way you put the bottle cap inside of here and I guess you would continue to turn the lever until the bottle cap pressed inside the soda pop I think this is so cool got it for five bucks and I thought about getting that second one too and by the way after I placed my order well I had seen this very beautiful I'm not sure if it was a china set, but it was vintage. It was like ovenware. It was in yellow, my favorite color. And I went back to take a look at that because the whole set was yellow. I told her that I might be back to get it. And I got to my car and turned around and went back to her and told her, hold this for me. I'll be back this evening or tomorrow morning. I want that set. What I'm going to do is donate the set I'm using now, which is a set by Temptations from QVC in my favorite color brown. I want to use this fine set I found today. I will not put it in my china cabinet. I'm going to use it as everyday dinnerware. As a matter of fact, I need to text the lady because I'm not going to make it today. I want to get it tomorrow morning. Yeah, it had the name of the, the whole set on the back of it. It was made in Japan. Excellent quality. Vintage. I look forward to eating dinner, dessert, salad. And it was a full set. So you got the saucers and the coffee cups. And it even had, I think, the milk, the milk pour. Really pretty. I'll get that, the Lord willing, tomorrow. So, I looked out, you guys, and found some um, sewing pattern. I found a whole box. Look at this. So, I inquired about a price and got the whole box for one dollar <laughs> I have not looked through these yet I have only found these larger patterns one other time and I shared them in a video I found a whole lot of these from my favorite thrift store and they were only a quarter so that was a deal but during that time we had a half off sale and this is before I purchased like all of them. 
I only picked up like five. So I paid 12, 13 cents. And then when I got them home and realized how much I like these and how I could recycle these pockets, I went back and picked up the rest of them. Of course, the sale was over and I got them for a quarter. But let me tell you, the deal here is even better because I don't know how many I got in this box. And there's a lot of other stuff in the box as well. Oh, I'm going to have fun. I love these mystery boxes and bags because you don't know what's in it and I've said this before <laughs> it's my dream to open up one of these and find money <laughs> money or something really really special I use the actual paper in a special way you guys you will see it very shortly these are large sewing patterns and it's not tissue it's actual paper yes cannot beat the price so i think what i'll do you know i might pull some other stuff out a little later but i saw this little container i guess it's stoneware brown being my favorite color and then i'm i'm a cheese lover i love cheese i thought about making my own cheese i tell you right i saw this and i got it but i'm looking at this and this was made in china so i don't know how old this is but i was attracted to this handle part too i might keep this in my craft room and put buttons or something in it all righty and then the first thing I saw at this yard sale was these two big old bags of fabric. I'll show you this one bag. It's a nice size. I inquired about the price and this is when she told me it's a liquidated sale. She gave me each bag for a dollar. <laughs> I told her I would take it because once again, I love these mystery, these mystery bags. So I'm sure I'll donate a lot of it. I'm not going to keep most of it. But it's those hidden, those secret treasures I'm looking for. So I have no clue what's in it. I think I might go through the bags in this video. When I left this yard sale to go get cash, I quickly ran into Goodwill. But before I get to Goodwill... From one of the thrift stores I hit up this morning, I did find these bag of shamrocks and I paid a dollar for them. I thought these were cute. So I ran into Goodwill <laughs> and I'm so happy I did. Let me show you what I got, you guys. It was a Martha Stewart day. So the first thing I saw was this punch and it's marked $3.99. I walked around the store holding this and then I decided to put it back. But you could see where I tried to remove the tag back to see what design it was. It never dawned on me. Turn the punch over <laughs> or open up the flaps and you can see the design. So I put it back, right? And then I came across another punch, which is this ghost punch. And then I thought there's other punches here. Now, I have a couple pet peeves about Goodwill. Actually, several. Number one, Goodwill, at least in my neck of the woods, they do not bundle anything. They sell things individually, right? Most thrift stores I shop at, they will bundle like items together and give you one price. So that's one pet peeve. The second pet peeve is their prices. They don't have anything lower than $1.99. I've seen cheap old stickers for $1.99 per package. It's just like ridiculous. And right now, I don't remember what my third pet peeve is, but I'm sure it'll come to me. So anyway, I'm walking around the store with this. I put it back until I saw this punch. And then I thought, perhaps the one I put back was the coordinating punch so I went back and picked this up 
And then I came across another punch, right? I came across this punch. And I knew then that there were other punches. Oh, yeah, my other pet peeve is they don't group their items. <laughs> like all of these punches were not together. They were like spread throughout the store, like an Easter egg hunt. If you wanted to find the punches, you had to go around and hunt for them because I found yet another punch, right? And none of these punches were together. I mean, they were completely on different sides of the store. So you see how this one says $3.99. And to me, that's a good price for this jumbo size punch, even at a thrift store, especially knowing that this could be a retired punch and we know they don't make Martha's punches anymore, right? So I wasn't going to complain about that price. But I noticed that the other punches were marked only a buck ninety-nine. And I thought that was odd because I knew for sure that these other punches will be they would have the higher price because this goodwill, in my opinion, it's really expensive. So all of the other punches were marked a buck ninety-nine. I held on to them. And then I came across this gift wrap. Why is it marked individually? A buck ninety-nine, people. If you buy even vintage wrapping paper, it's not marked a buck ninety-nine unless it's an antique store. So I get to the cash register. I point out to the cashier that the prices are different. He honored the lower price and gave me this punch for the lower price. And then I asked, and I asked this question before, but I'm smart. I know if you usually ask, <laughs> the cashiers, they got the power to give you a lower price. So I asked him, I said, well, why, why are these items parked, priced individually and so high? He stated that it's at the discretion of whoever is pricing that day. And if he would have priced it, he would have priced all three for the $1.99 because it was sell. And then he ended up giving me all three packs for a buck ninety-nine. How I wish I got the other packs because they were duplicates. <laughs> but I was happy to get these because these roses are pretty. And I know one of these had a price of 85 cents. So I didn't see a year. I don't know, sometimes you can find a year on these, but these look to be at least in the 80s, I would think. I don't know, but even the 90s, that's old enough for me. And then finally, I found this stamp and they probably had other stamps too. It says, a sister is a special part of all that's cherished in the heart. And this is a heart design of flowers. Can't beat that for a buck ninety-nine. And by the way, I don't think I have, you know, I might have this punch. Now that I look at it, but I don't know. It's a garden gate. And this one... It's called, no, this is called Garden Gate. Well, they both can be Garden Gates. And this is that Ghost Corner Punch. And then this one, Linked Trim. I love this one. Ooh, I had a good day at Goodwill. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, I'm going to quickly go through this bag to see if there's anything worthy to keep... Now look at this. This is army or camouflage. I'll keep that. And this is pretty. It feels really soft. I'll keep that. Little scraps, but I don't have a need for whatever this is. So I'll get rid of that. I'm just going to grab bundles of stuff. What is this? Oh, it looks like so I didn't even see this fabric. This is beautiful. I love it. Feels like velvet. Love that color. Okay, the second bag. 
won't have much in it. I will throw away this pillow. I guess I could donate it, right? I don't know. And then another pillow. You know, I might deconstruct this pillow and use this fabric. I like that. I think I'll do that. Yes, yes. And there's another pillow. I actually saw this and I thought to deconstruct it to use the fabric. They're chickens. I like it on both sides. So I'll do that. Wash it up real good. Okay, has a little bit of fabric here. These look like curtains. I will deconstruct these. I like to collect curtains that look like this. I like to use the linen. Uh-huh. I have an upcoming video sharing some deconstructed linen. Oh, what is this? Okay. I can use this. I can use that. And then this, it looks like somebody shopped at a thrift store because the tags are still here. It says Easter. I can use that. I like that. Will we find more? I don't know. What is this? These were curtains. Looks like, no, an apron. Okay, I will definitely keep this fabric. Yay! Apples. Is that a pumpkin? Corn. So it has a fall theme. And you know, there is some gold foiling. Yes, like that. And it had a it has a price tag of five dollars. Okay, not bad. And what is this stuff? I don't know what this is doesn't feel made in Germany a hundred percent rayon what do you do with this you guys it feels like felt but it's a different texture than felt okay I'm keeping whatever that is and then what is this whatever this is has a price tag of ten dollars like tapestry work and I don't know is this a floor mat or what it's like a barn reddish brown color I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not we'll see and the final piece in the bag is a top that's a cute top has a price tag of two dollars on it okay, so the downside of buying this stuff is to sift and sort and put everything away I will get rid of a lot more even items I said I was gonna keep mm -mm. no I'm gonna get rid of it okay let's go through some of these patterns you guys I'll at random open up a couple you know, I look for the ones with African Americans and the vintage ones and the 70s. Let's open up a couple of these. Will I find some money or vintage letters? Okay, what are these? Oh, look at this. I never came across a sewing pattern that looks like this. Look at this. It has a price of 39 cents on it. That's the original tag, it looks like. I've never seen this type before. Is there a year? I don't know. Oh, how cute. And it has like a tracing paper pattern. Oh, this is stinking cute you guys stinking cute and this baby is a lot darker than these two so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a little black baby but this is cute I also collect babies oh wow and I love kids I've never seen this pattern before what else can we find mm -hmm. 
I have a lot more of these larger patterns. I'm looking in between the larger patterns to see what I can find. So these are patterns that I'm not sure if these were taken out of the envelopes or they were purchased separately because they have prices on it. 50 cents. Hmm. What else? Okay, easy quilts. New patented formula. Tracing paper. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. All right. And then what is this? This is cloth. Grandchildren complete life's circle of love. This is cute. I'm not sure if someone made this or purchased this. And then a little bag of spools. Always fun to find these. I like to look at the original price if it's on it and I can't see the price there. Oh, 45 cents. Oh, 25 cents. So the cheaper the spool, the older it is, I think, generally. So these are vintage spools. Aha! Always love to find these. And look at this one, you guys. So stinking cute. They're transfer patterns. Oh! And then this one. I want to see the name of where this came from like what store okay you guys I think I think that is it I got my work cut out I gotta sift and sort through this stuff especially all this fabric and put it in my haul away junk away box well I hope you guys have enjoyed my latest yard sale acquisitions and I hope you guys all have a beautiful evening and I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.